Hi, everyone. Um, my name is Drago, and I'm a machine learning expert here at Rambler. And on today's video, I wanted to tell you about, well, what's Rambler? Um, so what do we do? And actually, why should you care about it? The answer is pretty simple. If you look at any news feed, um, you know, every couple of weeks, there's a new large language model or a new multimodal large language model being released. The latter, again, being these models that aside from being able to work with uh, text, they can work with video, with images, with uh, eye tracking data, et cetera, right? And one immediately thinks, okay, how can I use this? Uh, wouldn't it be cool to have, say, an AI assistant that can help me out uh, at work or in any particular activity I'm doing, right? Where I can show it things, where I can reason, and just generally have you know knowledge at hand uh, when I need it. Now. If you've ever played with any of these uh, models, you see that they reach their their limit uh, as soon as knowledge starts getting specific, right? And this happens because the model was trained on you know a, a limited amount of data, very big but limited, and it just doesn't have access to the specifics of say your application, be it um, at a particular activity that you're you're doing or just at work and things that you just can't train a model with data that's proprietary um, if you know it has to be released to the to the world right and this is exactly where Rambler comes in so what we do we're an egocentric data co company it says here in our website check it out rambler.ai and what we do is we take your proprietary data that's completely isolated we extract information from it, we combine it with expert knowledge coming from your company, your application, and we generate data sets that can be used to either fine tune or provide um, direct context to this model. So like think RAG, so that it's actually useful for you, right? So you can have the AI system that can actually help you out instead of getting in the way through your specific activities or applications. So how do we do this? Just a sneak peek at some of our um, features. So this is a video, right? Someone performing a particular lab procedure. Again, egocentric because it's from the perspective of the wearer, right? And what we're able to do is find, with very little human input, all the relevant objects for you. We can track them throughout the video, right? They keep their IDs, right? So the same pipette that's on frame zero is on frame 300. Right. Additionally, not only can we follow the objects, but we can also understand how they relate to each other. So we can generate these. This is what's called a, a scene graph. And we can show, OK, so for example, this particular pipette, um, it's being held by the right hand and it's above the stand. And we can you know, generate these uh, for relevant points across the video. Right. Not only that. We can also look at activities because again, we specialize in long video, right? So we can look at uh, descriptions of particular activities, right? Uh, involve again, several hundred frames. So you get full video understanding and we're able to combine this with your expert knowledge and provide it all as context for these models, right? So without further ado, this is what Rambler does. This is what we're good at. Um, and you should definitely check us out. So go to, again, go to our website. Uh, then you'll find you can, we have a demo environment where you, you can try many of these features. So do check it out. Uh, just a short sign up and you're in. Also, you can just contact us directly or just, you know, tune in for our next videos where we're actually going to be showing some of our uh, cooler features more in detail and also some potential applications. So for example, we have a chatbot that's enriched with the exactly the kind of data we generate so you can see the power of what we do, okay? So yeah, uh, please check out our next videos and yeah, thanks so much.